I'm just tap tap and welcome back to uh, the aquatic adventure of the last human. So we got some buildings now. Buildings are fun. Big old watchtower. Oh, we got a fast travel station. I do think most Metroidvania games should have fast travel stations. That's not necessarily like a fast travel from like the pause menu, but at least some sort of teleporty thing. I have a Geiger counter. Um, ow. So it's radioactive stuff, not just corrosive, I guess. Though, I mean, radioactive stuff wouldn't damage your hull. I mean, damage your, you know, human, weak human meat body, but B attacks continue as a progress. Fighting against slaughter. Slaughter of the last cows. Um, the last cows. Here's the thing about humans, you know, using animals as food products or whatever. If you are the target of an undeveloped civilization, you're probably going to go extinct. If you're the target of a very developed civilization and your species is, you know, farmable, your species is never going extinct because we're going to breed like 18 billion of you. Um, unless, you know, all farmlands were destroyed, the, um, you know, cow- Ah! I figured! Atomic bubblegum! <laughs> okay. The parasite. Is this... Okay, the mass is the damage. But yeah, cows aren't gonna go extinct because, you know, they're so farm friendly and we're just gonna breed a billion of them and eat them forever. Um, but whatever. I don't have to agree with its politics to enjoy the, uh... Oh. <laughs> Contact damage is really killer in this game. Is my shield even like does my shield like protect against projectiles or something only or it doesn't it doesn't feel super useful. But, ow, 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 god. I guess hitting it when it's reforming is pretty much what you want. I feel like there should be a speed up button. Cause I mean some of these attacks I don't feel I have much recourse against. Is it getting smaller or just, I don't know. Yeah, I, um, I don't really feel like some of these hits are avoidable. And since I take so much damage, atomic bubble gum though, that's so, you see, look at that. I, I can sort of just barely dodge certain attacks, but like a single minor mistake means unavoidable major damage. <laughs> Though I think it's mostly the sh I think the clams are like instant murder. I'm thinking from this boss, he must get some sort of like sticky junk. The we we there's some sort of explosive thing we seem to need for some doors. And not all of the upgrades have been related to the thing. Obviously the the false lights power up. That that should have been obvious. Like just from the moment we saw the abyss and we knew we needed a lamp at some point, pretty clear we, were, we would be getting the lamp from there. Either that or the lamp would be required to explore the abyss. Though, I mean, getting a lamp... If we only needed the lamp for the abyss and the abyss is where we got it, it feels a little weird, but maybe, maybe there's other places we haven't seen yet. Can we? Did I hurt those things or no? Those just flash anyway. You're definitely a bit smaller. Are you kidding? I kind of think certain things should have invincibility frames in this game, because I mean... Eh, whatever. It's not really a huge deal since we can... Damn it, stop that. It's not too huge of an issue <sighs> because of how fast the respawns are and the boss fights aren't super long. 
Come on. Parasite. I assume this is supposed to be a commentary on, you know, ah, bubblegum litter. I'm not sure how often bubblegum is particularly an issue. Like, um, ocean trash, definitely a big issue. I'm not sure you'd see gummed up clams, though. Ah. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of this. Look. I wonder, can I hit the smallest ones with the saw? The saw just seems suicidal. And I mean, maybe it's not supposed to be for anything. No, the saw does not do things. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really digging this boss. <laughs> the sound of all of the clacking just reminds me of that Simpsons scene where Homer's like, Ugh, babies. It's like all of the little babies with the sucking on the pacifiers. I do like that. It seems to get louder when you get close to the things. So is the shield just like a single hit no matter how much damage and it's gone or something? Maybe I'm supposed to have an engine upgrade. Ow, for fuck's sake, stop that. Ugh. See, uh, we're, we're, uh, I don't think I could have avoided that unless I knew before it happened that it was coming, like that I moved up. The difficulty is so erratic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the shield is just one. What? <sighs> it would feel a bit more satisfying if I could kill the little ones. Um before they return, but it doesn't feel like it's that sort of boss. It seems to just have a set amount of health total that I have to work down. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, I really don't like... Ugh. It's basically one-hit kills. There are rare situations in which you can actually survive. But, I mean with all of the different crap going on at once. Pretty much guaranteed to not take a single hit. I wonder if that right corner must be more safe? Because it has the... It has the dead clam instead of the... See, look at this! It, when, when it spreads out in my direction, I can't move fast enough to get out of the way. It is simply... Not a thing that I can do. Can I just... See, look at... Look, look. I was moving away in the opposite direction as fast as actually possible. There is no speed up button. I just... It doesn't work. Every time. I take damage. And the worst thing about this kind of boss... I'm not going to feel accomplished when I beat it. It's just going to be over, and I'll feel relieved, but I'm not going to feel accomplished. Because it was just random bullshit. It's random bullshit that killed me, and it'll be random bullshit that lets me win. So I'm not going to feel happy when I win. I'm just going to be like, yeah, it's over. <sighs> I should stop recording and just let you know when I'm done, but I... well... Maybe I'll just edit out the parts where I fight this boss. I wonder if there's like, there's got to be a speed upgrade I am supposed to have that I do not have, and 
the game is just like too bad. See, see, th th that is not avoidable. Not avoidable. Would you fuck off? It was moving too fast. Ah. There's very few controls, so I mean, they're, unless it's an actual full-on upgrade that I'm missing, there's really nothing extra I can really even do here. Huh. It splitting in my direction didn't hurt that time. See, sometimes these don't seem to hurt nearly as much, even though it's frickin'... What was that crap? It didn't kill me, so I can't complain too much, but oh my god. Fine central? Fire central? I do like the shell casually blocking the path there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that was my last one. We're, we're just gonna find... There's obviously upgrades that I'm supposed to have that make that not stupid. But for now, it's stupid. So... <sighs> I love when Metroidvania games are pretty dang open, but uh, really shouldn't be quite so easy to just... Is that... Yeah, it's just death. <laughs> we break the pipes when we explode. <sighs> okay. I wonder if that gives us some sort of radiation shield. Mm. Yeah, a speed boost or something would have made that a lot more sane. Maybe that's just, you know, another engine upgrade. Oh, whatever. Huh? ESA, splatter, blah, whatever. We already read that. Alright. Engine upgrade somewhere, please. It's obviously either boss or an upgrade, or both. It's amazing how much a single annoying boss can really sour you on a game. I'm gonna continue, but uh, we really better find something that makes this not incredibly stupid. So we're obviously gonna get trapped in here, obvious boss fights. Oh man, this reminds me of, um, oh man, what's the game called? Echo Quest. There's an area just like this with polluted water and lots of dead fish. It's really spooky. Um, I should play that. Sometime. So maybe he Behemoth, the Forgotten One. Is that, a, is that supposed to be a Call of Cannon? That's really, that's a really cool design though. Right. Um, unless you have like a super crazy, oh, okay. That's what you do. It's about to say, minor difficulty disparity. Oh man, it's, it's freaking face skin just rots off for that. That's really cool. Healing with its freaking bones? Okay. See, this is a good boss design. Maybe I should wait for what after I beat it before I say that. But this... So far, this is not stupid. This is not bullshit. This is, like, just good. Why isn't the other boss like that? Wait, can I destroy the bones? I just have to sort of out damage its healing then. Alright, that's, that's badness. I wonder if I can upgrade my heat my whole regen speed? Or did we did we get an upgrade like that actually? Is there uh Yeah, we got one upgrade like that. I wonder if I'm missing like ugh, a ton of like important health upgrades and stuff that make the boss does not feel stupid. This boss doesn't seem too bad so far, though. Seems like reasonable difficulty. Ow, what do you 
Hey, excuse- wouldn't you fucking- Okay, that's a little annoying, because I can't- I can't dodge that. There's no ability to dodge things that move faster than you. Nice little audio cue for the, uh, harpoon. So I guess RNG matters quite a lot for this boss. I guess if we swim around, not too bad. I like that he's, like, coming apart. Like, that tube... Fucking son of a... That tube came off. Though even if I do think that bo that one boss is currently super bullshit, it's nice to, you know, have some degree of freedom in terms of which boss to fight next. Ah, f f seriously Okay, if, if one of those spawns on you, you're just dead, I guess. I mean, I did hit the thing, but I mean... That is some fast death. Oh wait, maybe it doesn't degrade, maybe that tube is always split. Yeah, the radioactive stuff is a bit excessive. Well, what even hit me that time? Was it the stuff dripping from him? So I guess he's diff like dangerous to even get near. I think his eye just went out. You just take a dump or something. He just took a radioactive dump and it's like the, the freaking gaseousness is chasing me. Okay. Are you, are you coming back? Hey, wash your hands after that. What's he doing? Oh, I think he was healing. He, de he decays more as you deal damage. That's really cool. Alright, time to die. Bye-bye. Splat! Jet Thruster! Go away, forgotten one. Dodge attacks. Okay! We were obviously supposed to have this before confronting the boss we got stuck on. Okay. Though that is one nice thing about Metroidvania stuff. There, there is, you know, the accidental, you know, the capacity to, um... Ah, I see. So, you're not immune to radiation, you just sort of bump past it really fast. Um, yeah, while there's the potential to hit fine bosses too early, um, you know, you can also, you know, if you hit a boss that's too hard, you can just sort of go back and try to find some more upgrades. For fuck's sake, I meant to dash. Ugh. There seems to be a secret in that wall. Now we get the- oh, for fuck! Ugh, come on! The- having health in this game seems kind of superfluous. The majority of- hits you take or instant death. I knew it. What is it? Oh, it's hull. Which we already... oh. Aw, I wish I noticed that before. Let's see it. So we should keep an eye out for stuff like that. And if that's supposed to be a commentary on GMO... I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. <laughs> Cows are genetically modified, by the way. Cats are genetically modified. Um, getting a little bit silly in our... Uh, though maybe it's not intended to be entirely serious with the uh, insinuations. Parasite. All right. Right trigger. 
right trigger. I keep wanting to press L2. It's not that. L2. For fuck! This dodge isn't gonna protect against that one. Okay. For Would you go back? There's like no sensible timing for when they actually return to their mass. Oh, for fuck's sake. The boss is still really frustrating. Oh, for fuck's sake! On the plus side, I believe this is the fifth boss, so we're halfway done. Though we only have, like, what? Yeah, we have six upgrades out of 26. Maybe that's why things are so hard. Oh, for f Come on! Oh, for fucks! Now that I have the dash, I keep getting hit by shit that dashing... doesn't really help too much against. Uh, once again, the health bar does not seem, with no invincibility frames and multiple things that deal like 50% of my double upgraded health bar, why is there a health bar? <laughs> Seriously, stop! Oh my god. <laughs> I really feel like this boss would be greatly improved if you can destroy the little minions. Because they are so dangerous in that phase, and no matter how much damage you do, you won't destroy one of the little ones. Oh my god. No! Fuck off! It's <sighs> the worst. Also, sometimes it feels like I'm just not firing harpoons when I should be. I wish it had an auto harpoon button. So I'm mashing. Wait, can I? No, I can't. And it's the trigger button, which is really annoying to mash. Wait, can I? Damn it. Okay, that was a terrible idea to try in the middle of the boss fight. You cannot press any of the face buttons to attack instead. Oh my god. This boss would be a billion times less annoying if it weren't for that stage where they're just all super tiny. And uh, if I could destroy the super tiny ones, annoyment, annoyance would probably be a lot less. Or if I like did more damage to the tiny ones at least. It feels like it has a billion health. This barely even helps. Like, I'm not sure this would have even. Like, obviously, I needed to get that upgrade at some point. But I'm not sure at this point. Parker, not now! Parker! God damn it. Seriously, poor time, Parker. Reform already? Please sit down. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What even hit me? What? I just randomly got knocked back into the fucking things. I, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this for the night at the end of this boss. If we ever actually kill it. See, look at this, this fucking bullshit. 
They don't go back once it starts reforming. So does it take less damage once it's in full form or something? Because it just feels like it's taking no damage, even when I take do a lot of hits to it. But like when it's... It seems like when, if I hit it when it's splitting, I'm not sure if it's just because it's smaller. Ugh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go away. Go away! Go and reform, you little son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh, son of a bitch. Whatever, I'm just gonna let my fucking shield regen. Get down! <sighs> is there... No, there is no non-painful way to mash. I just have to use the trigger button. Ugh. Oh my god. I think all of the not me not dying is just related to it being shield damage instead of the hull. It's, if the hull gets hit, it's just it's just death. There's just no two ways around it. Oh my god, this stupid thruster won't recharge. Charge shots don't actually deal more damage, do they? Yeah, shield is back. What the? Why did it take so much damage there? It, it must be super weak while it's the very frames on its reforming or something? Okay, please no bullshit. Please no bullshit. Ixnay on the bullshit nay. Yes! Fucking die. I hate you. What is this? Just weapon, just... All of the normal... What? And we can't even get past it. I knew it. I, I told you. I wouldn't even feel... I wouldn't feel proud. I'm just relieved is the only feeling. There's... I can't even get past it. Ugh. Maybe they'll see the video and day one patch it. Maybe they won't care. Maybe that's the intended difficulty. But this is pre-release, so things are subject to change. I, I don't know if that was intended to just be- oh, fucking- I keep pressing L1, thinking it'll dash. It's not L1. It's the trigger. There's, I'm pretty sure you can rebind the keys. There was a- there was a key config thing in the options, I just didn't- I usually just go- oh, there, there's a little tank. Uh, I usually just go with whatever the default is, unless, you know, it's super terrible. I wouldn't have known before I started playing anyway. Okay. Ugh. Hull repair speed. Intelligently seen. Repaired. One of them spoke. Things are speaking. Oh, it's a nuke. <laughs> Slightly heavy handed with the uh, whole environmental messages, but, uh,. Maybe that's the point. I don't, I don't know. I can't feel too hung up on it. Well, um, let's get back to that. I think there's a save station above us, and we'll call it a video once we get to that. Oh, is this supposed to be an oil rig? The spatial of the world doesn't make too much sense. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> the messages are clear, even if they're not. Entirely. Fucking goddamn it! I press L1 every time instead of left trigger, and it's, we're all the way back here. Can I? <sighs> yeah. I really don't like the consequence for not dashing on the right frame being instant death. That 
seems entirely unnecessary. Because, I mean, as long as it forces you back and you can't push your way through it, it doesn't really matter how much damage it does. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt at all. Um, it'll uh, be impossible to go past, and, you know, it still serves as an obstacle all the same. It's just more annoying this way. There was a save station here, right? friends. I was sure there was a save station. Oh, whatever. Stay tuned, or watch the next video for wherever the heck is next. I guess we're going to the left.